Hi, welcome to Cinderella Loves Disney. Thank you for joining me today. I really do appreciate everybody who takes the time out and watches these videos. It really does mean a lot, so thank you for joining me. And if you are new, consider hitting the subscribe button. Would love to have you stick around. I was actually tagged to do my top 10 reasons why I love Disney by Disneyland Eric. And if you haven't checked out his channel, you need to. I'm definitely going to link it below, but his channel is so, so awesome. He travels all over and he tends to um, take Disney cruises. Um, he goes to the Disney parks and other areas and he does amazing videos on food reviews and the experiences there at the park. So um, definitely check out his, his channel because I really, really enjoy it very much. So thanks again, Eric, for the tag. So when I was compiling my list for this, I found it a little difficult because having to rank them from 10 through one, some of the reasons are actually equal or um, have the same meaning. And so um, even though they're ranked this way, it may not necessarily be uh, that order to me. They all sort of have a special meaning. But number 10 uh, that I ranked is the partnerships that Disney tends to have with companies. Um, one in particular is Make-A-Wish Foundation. Uh, right now, if you haven't heard, Make-A-Wish has a campaign going where Disney will donate $5 for every selfie that you post with your Disney ears on, uh, and you want to put the hashtag, share your ears. So if you haven't done that already, be sure to go to Facebook or Instagram and post your selfie and put that hashtag so you can help um, donate, so that would be great. I actually had a positive experience with Make-A-Wish uh, recently. Uh, my nephew, he had a Make-A-Wish trip and his uh, trip was wanting to go to Disneyland. So about a year and a half ago, we went um, and we all had these little buttons um, for Make-A-Wish and um, Disney really just went out of their way to make things special for our entire family that was on this trip. And so uh, that was really, really meaningful um, as well. So uh, it was just an, an awesome time. And they just, like I said, really, really catered to everything. And so that was- Hi, there was one thing I forgot that I wanted to mention when it came to Make-A-Wish. Not only did uh, the Disney cast members go out of their way to make the trip like extra memorable for the kids. I mean, you get to skip all the lines. We got to go um, through the exit and ride all the rides like immediately. But they even gave us some um, extra private meet and greet time with Mickey and my nephew just loved it. So I'm gonna insert a picture of my sweet nephew here when he was uh, getting to meet and greet with Mickey. But I just wanted to mention that because I thought that was a really important factor. So now back to the regular video. So number nine for me is customer service. The Disney customer service is amazing. Um, when we were on our Make-A-Wish trip, um, there was um, a couple little details that had to be worked out and they just went above and beyond to to, to take care of us and to cater us um, and it just in general other things that, that you might have experience with um, in line or if you're if it's your birthday and you have one of those little birthday buttons every cast member that sees you will say happy birthday or happy anniversary or whatever it might be um, so I just think that the the folks that work there are really really amazing so um, that's that's definitely uh, something that should be appreciated when you go so reason number eight is something that was kind of brought to my attention uh, recently I haven't had personal experience with it but I do think it's kind of neat it's the cultural representative program and uh, Disney has this program where they um, will sponsor uh, folks coming over from outside the country to come into the US or even to some of the other parks across the world and um, they put them up for housing and do um, a whole bunch of stuff for them it's just an amazing program I actually have just seen it through a couple other Disney youtubers that are out there that are um, in the UK and and uh, the, the experiences they had were amazing. Number seven was going to see Cinderella on the big screen when I was a kid. Uh, when I was young, the movie was re-aired in theaters and my mom took me to see it. And wow, I just fell in love with the story of the magic and true love and Disney and all of that. So um, that's definitely when my love of Cinderella uh, began. So that was a really neat experience. Number six is going to the park as an adult. 
Uh, when I went to the park for the first time as an adult after not having gone for many, many years uh, from being a kid, um, it was something else. It like sparked something in me. I can't even explain what it was, but this love and desire and um, just overwhelming feeling of just loving being at Disney and everything that it was about uh, definitely stuck with me and it was something that I've wanted to pass down to um, everyone my family and my friends um, and everyone else in the world <laughs> um, but I've you know taken my nieces uh, several times to the park just to pass down um, and have them experience um, everything that's that's available there and just and picking up on that that love for Disney as well and, and it's worked <laughs> they're definitely liking it and enjoying it very much so um, that's been really neat number five is the character meet and greets those people that play the characters are wonderful I mean the fact that they can actually you can understand what they're saying by their communicating without any speaking voice just the actions and and motions that they're making I, I've watched several several videos as well as being in person um, of people there meeting characters and props to them because they are really great at what they do and they really really make it magical for the kids and even for us adults um, so that's definitely definitely something that's been and uh, really cool to see, observe and see. Number four is Walt Disney himself. And he, the man had a dream and a vision and he didn't give up on it. He faced several obstacles and just got kicked down and still kept getting back up. And I think that is a very valuable trait to have. Um, and little did he know that, you know, years later, his name and, and that characters that he created are known not just in the city that he lived in or the state that he lived in or even the country but the entire world you can you cannot go anywhere and not say Disney and have someone not know what that means um, so I think that is pretty amazing um, and on a little side note too I, I found this a little bit a little interesting when I was doing some research for this um, I didn't know that Walt actually won 22 Academy Awards in his lifetime so uh, that's pretty amazing so um, definitely definitely Walt number three is the Disney community uh, this community is really awesome and when I first started this channel um, my goal was just to kind of uh, share my love for Disney but it was also to meet some other people who who enjoyed it as well and the YouTube community for Disney is just extremely vast one I had no idea how large it, it really was or how many other people were out there um, making YouTube videos about it so that that's been a learning experience all its own um, but just the some of the friendships that I have made even really recently being a new person on YouTube um, and connecting with those people has been really really uh, really valuable so I really appreciated it very much um, in addition to the other community events they have like the pin trading events and um, you know all the other different conventions and things that are out there um, so that that's really been something that's been really valuable to me as well number two is the Disney magic the things that they do at the park to make people's trips uh, magical and memorable is just beyond I mean from the character meet and greets to the parades and the shows and everything um, it's just so awesome it's magical what else can you say um, but it leads me into what number one is and number one for me is the fact that I can 100% truly be a kid when I am at Disneyland I mean I can just let go and let loose and I don't worry about work or bills or money or anything like that um, just go and have a great time and meet and greet with characters and take pictures and just be young and a kid so um, this was a lot of fun um, putting together my list of the top 10 so thanks again to Disneyland Eric and I want to go ahead and tag a couple people to do this challenge as well. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and tag uh, Raptor Adventures. And I'm going to tag the Pintastic Girls. And lastly, I'm going to tag Finding Disney. So I look forward to seeing all of your uh, videos on this subject as well. So thank you again for watching. And as always, make it a Disney day.